If you are new here, I am Michelle and I hope you'll stick around till the end of this video. Today I'm going to give you 10 effective strategies on how we can make reading more fun and engaging for our kids from ages 8 months to 4 years of age. I have worked with children as an educator for many years and I'm going to share with you how we early childhood educators read books to children in a childcare or daycare and in a preschool setting as well. As we know, reading books to children can be quite challenging at times like getting them to sit for a long time and getting them hooked to the books that we are reading for them. That's why we need to integrate a couple of strategies together to get our children really involved in the process of listening to storybooks. I have come up with a few strategies but they are not in order of importance because I believe that all of these strategies that I'm going to talk about are as equally important. So let's start. First, choose an age-appropriate book. If your child is 18 months of age, choose picture books with one or very few words in each page. Or you may also use picture books without a text. Children this age are still learning words and that's what we should focus on, teaching them words first and phrases. If your child is 2 years of age, choose a picture book that has a word or words, a phrase or even a short sentence on each page. If your child is 3 to 4 years of age, choose a picture book that has a few phrases or a 1, 2, or 3 sentences on each page. If you don't have any age-appropriate book at home, you may use whatever picture books that you have at home and modify the way you read the book for them. For example, for my 2-year-old daughter, this book is too lengthy. Now, I'm going to use this book to teach her words or phrases, but not necessarily read to her every sentence on each page. For children ages 18 months to 2 years of age, it's good to use repetition of words or phrases as you show them a picture book. For example, for toys, rabbit. There's another? next strategy is use picture books to read to your kids. Books without pictures are boring for kids within this age range. All preschools and early child care centers use picture books. Young children love to see books with colors, pictures, and even pop-ups. Pop-up books or movable books which cover flaps or pull tabs are very interesting for children because they make the story come to life. Movable books like pull tab or flap books interest the very young children because they like it when they are using their motor skills when they are learning new things or new words. They normally get bored when they just sit and listen but if you get them to use their other senses such as the sense of touch or getting them to use their fine motor while listening to the story, they feel more connected with the book or the story and it's easier for them to make sense of what they are learning. My third strategy is to get started reading books that interest your child. Know what your child is interested in and choose a book around that interest. For instance, if your child likes to play with dinosaur toys, then read a picture book about dinosaurs to your child. Use these interest-based books to get your child engaged in the listening or reading process. Then later on, you may choose books of various topics to increase your child's interest in other topics, which will also be a huge help in expanding your child's vocabulary. My fourth strategy is to read a picture book with your child many times before introducing to him a new book. Read one book per day and read the same book for about a week or two. You don't have to limit yourself to reading only one book to your child. 
You may read two or three books per day, but make sure that you read those books in a span of a week or two. And why is this important? Children need to familiarize themselves with a book because the more that they are familiar with the book, the more that they will stay engaged with you. You will notice that as you read to them, they will sometimes point out to the pictures and say the words just before you point out the pictures and read for them those words. The more that they are familiar with the book, the more interested they are in the process of book reading. The more familiarized these children are with the book, the more confident they will be in showing you what they know or what they have learned from the book. My fifth strategy is to check your pace of storytelling. If you're reading a storybook to your three and four year old children and you are talking too fast, then they will stop listening to you eventually. We have to remember that young children take longer time to process or filter the words that you're saying to them compared to school age children. Remember not to talk too slow as well as they might fall asleep during your storytelling. My sixth strategy is to ask children questions rather than you just reading to them the book. Asking them questions will allow them to interact with you more and make them feel more involved in the book reading process. My seventh strategy is to read books to your child in a lively manner, change your pitch or tone of voice when necessary, make facial expressions as if you are the character in the story and if you do this your child might laugh or might likewise show you how she feels about the character or the story itself it makes the story come to life and a child will feel that she herself is part of the story it also gives an element of surprise to children as we all know children like surprises my eighth strategy is to choose a good spot in your home to read books to your child. If you read to them a book in a place filled with lots of distractions, then there's a big chance for your child to move away in the middle of your storytelling, especially if they get bored with what you are reading. Too many distractions will give children more choices of activities that they might find more interesting than listening to you. If there's not much distraction, they are more likely to stick with you while you are engaging them with a book. Make sure that your child is also sitting comfortably and lighting in your room is important too. My ninth strategy is to use a singing voice as you read a book to your child. You may also use gestures if needed. Exaggeration is key to get their attention in case you need to redirect your child to the book. And last but not the least, you may use puppets with books to make storytelling a little bit more fun for your child. You can find books with puppets in many online shops. I will leave some links in the description box of these kinds of books and where to get them. And a few other books that I also recommend that you buy because my kids find them very interesting and your kids might, you know, love them too. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you find this video helpful and please feel free to leave a comment down below. Cheers and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.